Hi, this is a BiteWiser.com Blender tutorial. This is the last of our four uh, videos on how to make a simple low poly cartoon house. Uh, in, in this video, we're just going to uh, add the lattice to the house. And we got a couple of quick things to tidy up here before we actually do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what I need to do is uh, if you uh, go and click on the house and try to move it, so press G and move it, you see that uh, apparently I forgot to parent uh, the door frame, the window, and the chimney to the house. So let's escape out of that. And let's click on the door frame. Let's kick, uh, shift and click on the window. Shift, click on the chimney. And then shift and click on the frame of the house. And let's do a control P, set parent to object. Now we can go and just click on the house, house, and now everything moves, and that's what we want. So now we can go ahead and add a lattice. So let's do that. Um, let's do a shift A and go down to lattice. And our lattice is right there. Um, I'm going to hide the uh, plane, and before I do that, I'm going to just call that grass. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the eyeball here to hide the plane. And now let's go back to our lattice. And what we want to do is make this lattice um, envelop the house. So I'm going to move that um, <clears throat> to 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's right in the middle there. Now let's go and size that in the x direction. So S, X. And there we go. And then we want to make that go in the Z direction, so S, Z. And we're going to have to move that up a little bit, so G, Z. And uh, let's do that a little more, S, Z. And there we go. And the last thing that we need to do is scale this in the Y direction, so S, Y. And oh, let me do that again, S, Y. There we go, there's our lattice. So now what we want to do with this lattice is we need some more um, uh, intersecting beams and stuff like that here, and you'll see why in a minute. So in order to do that, let's uh, add a U, V, and W. So make each of these go from two to three. So now you can see that we got, you know, these uh, uh, wires and stuff like that around this lattice here. And um, I'm going to just click on this outside thing so that uh, basically none of these uh, intersecting uh, lines here actually go into the lattice. Uh, we don't really need that. So now what we want to do, I want to grab the house here. Actually, want, we want to grab everything. So um, I'm going to go and hide the lattice temporarily. And I'm going to go select everything. So let's do a B. And we got all that. Now let's go ahead and do Alt H to unhide that. And then shift click on our lattice and do a Control P, set parent to lattice to form. And what that's going to allow us to do is if we right click on um, <clears throat> the lattice and go into edit mode, what we can do is start deforming our house. So suppose we grab uh, we select all these guys here, all these nodes on the very top of the lattice. We can do we can rotate around rotate that around the z axis. So R Z, and you can see our house starts to move a little bit. You know, can have some sort of crazy looking uh, house there if you want. I'm going to undo that for now. So first, what I want to do is I want this row here. I'm going to um, move that down along the z-axis, so G, Z, and move that down a little bit. Eh, maybe I don't want to do that. No, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to twist it. It didn't really give me the effect that I wanted, and uh, the reason why is because there's nothing in the middle here. So um, let's go ahead and do an edge loop here and we'll just right click to just leave it there and now let's go ahead 
Now let's go ahead, grab our lattice, and grab this row of guys here, and do a GZ, and bring it down a little bit. And now you can see the roof of the house kind of caves in a little bit, and that's what I was going for. And that looks, that looks cool. Now, now what I want to do is grab the rest of these guys on this top row, and now I want to rotate it around the Z axis, so R, Z. And let's just bend that a little bit, and that all looks pretty good. It looks kind of like, whoa. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab this guy and grab this guy, and let's scale that along the Y axis, so S, Y, and make that a little bit longer. And what that's going to do is kind of make the front and the back of the house stick out a little bit and that looks kind of cool and uh, now what we can do let's uh, clear that by pressing A let's select the bottom row of uh, lattice nodes here so B and grab all those and let's twist that the other direction so R Z and move it that way but not too much so that's kind of cool um, that's what we can do with our house. You can make it do whatever you want. You could maybe even make these two sides go out in the X direction. So SX and make it kind of bow out a little bit. Like it's bulging at the seams, ready to explode or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so if we go ahead and render that, we got something that looks kind of weird. Um, I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. Um, so let's go into camera mode here. Um, and click on our camera here and I'm gonna move this so along the x-axis so GX I'm gonna scoot that over here just a little bit and now I'm gonna rotate along the z-axis so RZ Oop. and I want to get that on an angle so I'm gonna keep moving this along the x-axis X. just keep on doing GX to bring this over until it's where you want. There you go. Now let's render that and see what we got. That looks pretty cool. Now what we can do, if, if you want, uh, I think we're officially done with the house, uh, but what we can do is just take this window here, do a Shift D, and move that along the Y axis. Um, eight blender units. And what that'll do is put that Oh, oh, maybe it needs to be just a little bit more. Um, G, Y, and bring that house in right there. Or, sorry, not house, <laughs> uh, window. Yeah, so now let's just move that over here. And there, we got our window flush up against the, that house frame in the back here. And that's not, not too bad at all. Um, if you want, you could actually go and add some trees. And we're pretty much done here. I mean, if if you like the house and that's what you need, that's great. But we can uh, just add a tree real quick. Might as well. So let's do a Control A and go up to Mesh and let's do a cylinder. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that over here. And let's size that in the or scale that in the Z direction, so S Z, and let's just do that a few times until we get a tree the size that we want. And I want to scale it down in every direction other than the Z axis, so S Shift Z, and there we make that a little bit skinnier. And uh, now what we can do is smooth that, and let's give that a quick material here. And we'll just call that wood. And uh, what I'm going to do for that is just make a brown, kind of a darker brown, something like that. And now let's go ahead and uh, put on the uh, leaves that should be quick and dirty here. So let's uh, get a UV sphere, move that over here. And let's size that up a little bit, or scale that up so. Let's just do S and then drag, and that's going to be good. Let's smooth that out a little bit. And I'm going to want to put this guy temporarily at Y equals 2, 
and x equals 17. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here for this new sphere. So y equals 2, x equals 17, so that it's square in the center of the tree trunk. And this might be a little bit too big, so I'm going to scale that down a little bit. Um, so S, let's scale down the tree. Uh, now what we can do is go into edit mode. Let's click the, uh, the very top node on top of that ball there, that UV sphere. And let's go down here to proportional editing and do connected. And let's move that up a little bit. So G, Z, and there, it looks kind of like a teardrop or something, but that looks like a good enough tree. I'm going to move it down just a little bit and scale it down just just a little bit. Well, maybe i got to move it up a little. Okay. And now let's give that uh, a new color or material. And we'll just call that leaves. And let's make that a dark green or something. Or you know what? Maybe let's make it orange because it's fall time now. So maybe that's good. So... There, we got our uh, house and tree. You know what? Let's make that a little bit more red because it's too close to the color of the house. So there's a, a red color. Let's make it a little more red, but not purple. Oop. There we go. And so I'm going to... Um, we, we got the leaves here. Let's press Shift and click on uh, the trunk. And let's... Do a control J. Well, yeah, control J. <laughs> we can do that in this video because it's just nice and quick. So um, let's move this tree over here. Let's duplicate it. Shift D. Let's make another one over here, maybe a little bit smaller. Scale it down a little bit. And there we go. So let's render that and see what we got. Let's move the trees over just a touch. So let's just move that. And now let's see. There, very good. So there is, that's the end of this, uh, this video series. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple cartoon house. There's, uh, you know, not too much, uh, you know, amazing about it, but it, it looks nice and it's got nice bright colors for kids to enjoy. And, uh, well, let me know if you have any problems with it, or uh, if you want to show me what you've done, that'd be great. I'd like to see it. See you later. Bye.